Welcome back friends to another informative video. In this video I will demonstrate, how you can configure an iSCSI role on Windows Server 2022 and how you can attach iSCSI target to Windows Server 2008. iSCSI stands for Internet Small Computer System Interface, works on top of the Transport Control Protocol, TCP. It makes it possible to set up a shared storage network where multiple servers and clients can access central storage resources as if the storage was a locally connected device. As you can see, on my server 2022, I have separate 100 GB hard disk, which I am planning to use as iSCSI for this demo. I already assigned hostname and IP to new 2022 server. Server must be on same network, were you planning to attach iSCSI target? To install iSCSI role, click on Manage and then select Add Roles and Features. Under Server Roles, Expand File and Storage Services, then Expand File and iSCSI Services. Select iSCSI Target Server and then hit Next. Click Install to start role installation. Wait for installation process to complete. Installation is now complete. Next we will configure virtual disk to create iSCSI target. Select disk which you want to use for iSCSI targets. Assign meaningful name to your virtual disk. Specify the disk size you want to allocate for virtual disk. You can choose how your disk can be consumed. Either you can allocate full disk at same time or can consume allocated size as per utilization. Assign meaningful target name, that will help later to identify on network. You can leave iSCSI target available for everyone on the network or can limit the access to specific devices or IPs. For this demo I allowed for two domain controllers IPs only. Our iSCSI target is successfully created. Next we will connect this target to our Windows Server 2008 domain controller. On Server 2008 click on Start and search for iSCSI Initiator. Open iSCSI Initiator and allow to start service. Hit yes again to allow iSCSI service to communicate with network targets. Based on your company policies, you might need to work with network and security team to allow iSCSI port enable. On next screen, click on Discovery tab and define your iSCSI server IP. We can see, our created target is now discovered. But disk is not accessible still to server, you must need to connect to your assigned target to make it available for server. To make target active, open target on iSCSI initiator and verify your target by IQN number. Once you confirm your target click on log on button. Click on Automatically Restore option to keep your target even server restart for some reason. Our target is now attached to server. 
Follow standard steps to initialize new attached disk. We are successfully able to attach our new ICE CASI target drive. Thank you once again for your time. If you like our efforts, please like and subscribe our channel.